The Avenger. <laughs> Not those Avengers, although I will admit, in all fairness, the most recent Avenger to fire a missile in combat was Iron Man. This is the Avenger. So the Avenger was a private venture in 1980 by Boeing, and an ability to fill a small capability gap for the United States military. So they took something that was already in use, the Stinger missile. Stinger missiles, turning Russian aircraft into the world's most difficult Lego set since 1970. So anyways, they took that Stinger and decided to put it in a missile pod and stack eight of them on the back of a Humvee for reasons that I still don't fully understand. However, it worked quite well. It took Boeing a total of 10 months to slam this program together. It's also important to note that this program never had any misfires where they shot at their own people, not to be confused with the Pantsier that has. I can see it now. You photoshopped that video, it didn't do that. So anyways, in 1984 they had built three of these things and they took people who had no idea what they were doing, had never used these systems before and had never fired a Stinger missile before and said, go shoot it. The first one had a successful engagement while moving at 20 miles an hour, which makes this the only weapons platform in the United States military that can shoot down aircraft while it's on the move. The second one they fired at night because this thing has thermal capability and it had a successful engagement. The third one, however, they fired it in the rain and it got close enough to destroy the aircraft, but they didn't count it as an actual kill. They called it a tactical kill. So in 1987, Uncle Sam said, hell yeah, we want this thing. And they decided to build over 300 units and start getting them out to the United States military. In 1989, the system began its IOT and E, which is in, fuck, hold on, here we go. I gotta read it. Initial Operational Test and Evaluation. I should know that acronym. I was on IOT and E for another system that we just bought. That's when the system began its two phases of testing. The first one was in Fort Hunter Liggett, California, where they beat the shit out of these systems. They put them in the rain, in the cold, in the, the desert, in every environment known to man to just beat the living hell out of these systems and see what they could handle. And the other one was live fire testing at White Sands Missile Range, which was the <laughs> fucking red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather. Fuck. Words are hard. Which, interesting enough, is still home of America's air and missile defense. In February of 1990, they decided the system was good to go and they started replacing the VADS. The VADS was the Vulcan Air Defense System, which wasn't very good at air defense, but it was really good at chopping down the forest in Panama. I'll make another video about that one. The first time the Avenger weapon system was used was in the Gulf War in the early 1990s. They ordered over a thousand of these things when they finally built them up. They were also employed in Bosnia and Iraq and Afghanistan. Now, for those of you stating that Iraq and Afghanistan didn't have aircraft, so why are you setting an anti-air system? This thing also has a Plan B, also known as Plan Browning, an M2 heavy barrel 50 caliber machine gun that you could operate at any time, anywhere, anytime you needed to delete something effective. Of the original 1100 that were built, only 400 remain. And of those 400, majority of them are in the National Guard as the United States Army is transitioning over to M. Shorad, D.E.M. Shorad, uh, you can check my other videos about those systems. Although, with a certain somebody on the far side of the world deciding to fuck around, we decided to send around 72 find outs. So let me do some quick math here. 72 of those systems, eight missiles a piece. Let's go ahead and math that. That's 576 reasons not to fly anywhere near somebody who is friends with the United States. Now, Ukrainians have already proved the effectiveness of the Stinger missile. They've shot down aircraft, they've shot down helicopters, they've shot down uh, cruise missiles, which is not a capability I knew that any Stinger missile actually had. Super impressed there. So like I said, up until recently, Iron Man was the last Avenger to fire a missile in combat. That is about to change. As always, if you like what I do, please support the channel, get yourself some merch, and subscribe. Do not give in to the 22 a day. Every single one of you are amazing, and I will see you next time. Play me out!